everyone, it's Nina and I'm here today with Neat and Tangled. We are revealing our Painted Hello and Ornate Frame stamp sets today. This is day four of our January release and I hope you've been hopping along with us to see all of the fabulous new creations that everyone has been creating using the new products. Today we're going to be doing some watercolor stamping. I'm using some dye ink. This is dye ink from Altenew. It's a really cool dye ink because it reacts with water a little bit, kind of like distress inks. And I'm using this to create a watercolor effect with these frames. Now the frames in the Ornate Frame stamp set are layered. So there's three different images that you layer up for both the circle and the rectangle frames to create these layered and dimensional frames. Here you can see how it's all finished up. Moving on to the next color, I did a rainbow of colors for these frames because I'm going to be layering these around on my card base. So I'm going to go ahead and do some pinks and red colors for this one. And here you can see the reaction with the water a little bit better. And I just love how it has this speckled watercolor look. It's really, really beautiful. So I'll just keep repeating this process for all of the frames that I've done for my card here. And as you can see, I just repeated the same process over and over and over again. Here are the finished ones I've got. And I ended up making one more red one because I needed to fill in a little spot that was left on the corner of my card. And you'll see that later on. So I'm going to take the coordinating die and I'm going to die cut all of these frames out uh, using this die. There's one for not only the rectangle but also the circle as well. I'm just going to run this through my die cutting machine. I've got a magnetic platform down underneath my cutting pads and this helps me keep my die in the perfect place and doesn't shift when I cut it through the die cutting machine. So here are my frames. I'm adding foam tape to the back side. This is going to pop them off of my card. We're going to be doing a fun layering technique with these. We're just going to layer them all around our card and create a fun focal point for our sentiment. So I'm just going to go ahead and start layering these down. I will move the foam tape off of each one and then go ahead and lay it down. And I've kind of staggered them all around the front of the card so it gives a little bit of variation. Now this is the second stamp set that we're releasing today. We've got not only the ornate frames here but we've also got the painted hello stamp set which is a really cool another layered stamp set as well. And I'm going to be using that in this card as well. And you're going to see how we can create a really cool layered sentiment using a couple of the stamps from the set. We also have a giveaway going on over at the Neat and Tangle blog. And if you leave comments on all of the other design team blogs as well, that'll give you extra chances of winning some prizes. So be sure to check that out while you're here. So here I've got some Wink of Stella glitter and I'm applying this onto my frames. I was having a little trouble getting it started, but I got it to go. And here we're going ahead and just adding color, or just glitter I should say, over top of all of these colored frames. While that dries, I'm going to take Memento Tuxedo Black ink and stamp this down onto some cardstock. This is the Painted Hello stamp set. I'm going to take one of the layering stamps and then go ahead and apply Versamark ink onto this. Then I'll go ahead and stamp this over top of the solid hello. What I'm going to be doing is because the Versamark ink, uh, Versafine ink is a sticky ink, it holds the embossing powder and will create a really cool shadow effect. So it's going to be very subtle, but it's a beautiful effect as you'll see. It's better to see in real life. The camera doesn't pick it up, but it really is beautiful. So I'm going to take the coordinating die and cut this out from the cardstock. And I'll go ahead and pop it up with some foam tape. Just remove all the backing from these little pieces. And then I'm going to go ahead and lay this down on top of my frames. And the frames just add a really cool bit of movement to the card and really help this sentiment have a nice way to be able to stand out. So finally, I'm taking some colored glitter glue. This is glitter glue that I found at my local craft store. You can use whatever kind of colored glitter glue you have. And I'm just applying it to some of the darkest areas of my frames. And this just adds a little bit of extra sparkle and shine and really blends into the coloring of these frames and it's not too distracting. So to finish it off, I added a bunch of clear sequins from Neat and Tangled and also stamped some little flowers onto some paper and, cut, and die cut them out using one of our other uh, previous stamp sets that came out. It's a really cute set which I will have linked over at my blog. So I hope you've enjoyed. Be sure to stop over at my blog for the products used and also more information on this card. And be sure to also head over to the Neat and Tangle blog where you can get more information about the other designers participating in today's blog hop and also enter the giveaway. Thanks so much for stopping by. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up and we'll see you again soon.